Hey there, After The Run, it's me, Tyler, and I'm back. Today, I'm going to introduce to you a 10-day holiday weight loss challenge uh, that I'm going to take, and I'm going to invite you to join me with it. Um, just as a little background, uh, this year has been crazy. I haven't been making very many videos or podcast episodes for you just because it has been, as a school teacher, I have just been insanely busy every day, you know, 12 to 14 hour days every day, and it's been so draining. But part of that has resulted in me not taking care of my health as well as I'd like. And in fact, over this last month or two, where I've really been struggling to keep up at work, um, I haven't been able to make the time for exercise like I'd like to. Um, my diet has kind of taken a dip and I've put on some of those holiday pounds or you can call them COVID pounds this year, right? The COVID-19. That has certainly happened to me. And so while my weight has gone up, I, I just got more and more frustrated and I realized my own health is something I can control. There are a lot of things right now happening in the world that I can't control. I can't control the fact that my father-in-law is positive with COVID right now and is in serious condition in the hospital. I can't control that. I can't control that my students are anxious and worried and they're really struggling in the classroom and I have less resources than ever before to help with that. I can't control that. Um, I can't control a lot of the things that are happening in the world. It has been a crazy year as far as politics and everything else. One thing I can control is my health. And so I've decided to do a 10 day challenge to kick off the 2021 year, but I'm gonna do it at the end of 2020 because I wanna jumpstart on my 2021 goals. And so I'm going to create this video series um, and some podcast episodes for you now. I'll post them up once a day for the next 10 days, but I'll invite you to do this challenge anytime that works for you. You see, this time is really good for me because it's my Christmas vacation. I don't have a lot of time off as a teacher, but I do have two weeks for Christmas. And so I have this 10 days right now where I can really focus on my health, especially because I'm stuck here at home. We're not visiting an extended family for Christmas this year. We're not going anywhere. We're just staying here at home. And so I thought, let me take advantage of this time and do something worthwhile. So let me spell out for you what I'm going to do, and then I'll talk to you about what you can do to adapt this. Now, I'm a, a distance runner. I love to run. I've scaled my mileage way back this year after doing some ultra marathons, um, but I'm still running regularly, and I love doing it. For the next 10 days, I'm going to run 10 miles a day. So I'm gonna run 100 miles in the next 10 days. That's my physical challenge. Now, I know that is much more than what most of you want to do or even can do. And so I would say pick something for you that is a challenge, a physical challenge that is difficult and set that up for the next 10 days. Now, for me, this is just one part of the challenge because in 10 days, I wanna lose 10 pounds. And so I want to take off those that weight that I've gained over this craziness, and I want to be in great shape going into 2021. So in order to lose 10 pounds, I'm going to have to change some things to my diet. So in addition to 10 miles a day running, I'm going to change my diet so I'm only eating three meals a day, no snacks, no added sugar, which I know is super hard during the holidays. But the truth is, I already ate so much sugar leading up to today that I can go 10 days without sugar. Um, in fact, I really want this because I feel like garbage. I've been eating so much junk lately. So I'm going to go 10 days with no added sugar, no desserts, um, and just three square meals a day, no extra snacking and nothing like that. Now in those 10 days, I'm also going to do 10 minutes a day of strength training. I know that cardio is important for me just because I love to run, but if you really are serious about weight loss, Strength training is a really good way to do that. And so even with 10 minutes a day, that's enough to jumpstart your metabolism and help you to lose weight. So I'm gonna do 10 minutes a day of strength training. I'm also going to do, and this is in addition to those 10 minutes, because 10 minutes seems like hardly anything, especially when you think I'm gonna be running for two hours a day. Strength training is just a blip, right? But I'm gonna do 10 micro workouts every day. Now let me explain what a micro workout is. It's just one to three minutes of doing something to really elevate your heart rate quickly. That might be push-ups, it might be sit-ups or jumping jacks, it might be burpees, uh, it might be um, doing a, just a sprint around the block, something like that. It might be doing squats, um, anything that I can do quickly. I'm gonna do 10 sets of those throughout the day. Now the reason I'm doing that is I want to really jumpstart my body. I want to make sure that it's working hard um, and that I'm burning calories even when I'm not working out. So by spreading that out throughout the day, I'm going to get the physical gains of, of doing all that exercise, 
but also it's going to keep my metabolism higher because I'm going to be working so consistently throughout the day. So there are some weight loss benefits there. Um, so I am running 10 miles a day. I'm eating clean for 10 days. I'm going to be doing 10 minutes of strength training and I'm going to be doing 10 micro workouts. And I'm hoping that the result will be 10 pounds of weight lost. Now my starting weight's gonna be 235, so if you wanna keep track of that, um, it actually was 235.6 when I weighed in this morning, so I'll, I'll show that on each daily progress video, how I'm doing. Oh, one more thing. While I'm working out, I might as well, since I'm doing so much cardio, I might as well be benefiting um, by learning something. And so I'm also gonna read 10 books in these 10 days. And by read, I mean listen to 10 books on my phone. So I'm, I'm going to try to listen to 10 books. That's actually gonna um, help me finish one of my 2020 goals, which I could control, which is reading a lot of books. Uh, my goal was to read 202 books and I'm really close. So if I get these last 10 books, I'll be there. Um, so that's the goal. Now the challenge for you, if you choose to accept it, is pick something that you can do that will be difficult for 10 days. For me, I basically doubled the amount of cardio I'm doing. Um, if that makes sense for you to double your cardio, then great, do that for 10 days. If you're big into weightlifting, double that for 10 days, whether that's increasing the weights throughout the time or doing more reps or whatever it is, just pick something and double it for 10 days. Uh, it's gonna be a hard challenge, right? For 10 days, we can do a hard thing. So do something physical for the 10 days, but also make a goal for your diet. Uh, I have found when I lost 100 pounds, that the, the diet was 90% of the work, right? Making sure that I was eating clean and doing good things. So make a decision of something that either you can cut out of your diet or maybe something healthy that you can add into your diet and do that for 10 days. And then do something else for your soul, whether that's reading or journaling or being grateful or meditating. Pick something that you can do for 10 days that probably you don't normally do and try that for 10 days. If you can do those three components to this challenge, um, I think that, I, you know, I haven't done it before. This is a new challenge for me, but I think that um, whatever your goal is, for me, it's losing the 10 pounds. I think that consistency is really gonna pay off for you. So that's my 10 day challenge. I hope you'll accept it. Um, each day when I finish my run, I'm going to do a 10 minute podcast episode on something that I've been thinking about with health and wellness. Um, I'm gonna create the video and I'll publish it to this YouTube channel. Um, so every day you're going to have a 10 minute video. I'm going to strip the audio from those videos and change it into a podcast. So if you're a subscriber to the podcast, you can get these 10 minute episodes every day for 10 days uh, to hear what I'm thinking about and what I've learned about different things. Or if you'd prefer, I'll also blog about that every day. I'm not a very consistent blogger, but I'm committing for 10 days to write a blog post on, on each of the things. And I've already mapped out a bunch of the things I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about diet. I'm gonna talk about interval training. I'm gonna talk about HIIT workouts. I'm gonna talk about gear and what's a worthwhile investment in gear for exercise. Um, I'm gonna talk about clean eating and different things we can do with that. I'm gonna talk about water for sure. Um, and so I've got a bunch of the topics already lined up, but for the next 10 days, I'm just gonna give you these mini episodes. It's just gonna be solo episodes where I share that with you. Now, if you wanna participate, I hope that you will accept that challenge. You can, if you're watching this video, you can put in the comments what you're going to do for the next 10 days, and then I can follow up on you and see how you're doing with that. Um, if you're listening to the podcast or if you're reading the blog, head over to aftertherun.com and for each day, we'll have a, a blog, uh, the podcast episode linked up with the blog and it will have a comment section. So if you want to put it there, we all know that if you share with somebody what your goals are, you're way more likely to accomplish those goals. So I want to make this something that it's not only going to help me be successful in the next 10 days and losing 10 pounds, but I want you to be successful as well. So if you want to be involved, head on over to aftertherun.com and sign up there in the comments section um, and tell me what you're going to do. Um, I'm excited to do this with you. Um, I think this is going to be a great opportunity for us to kick off 2021 the right way. All right. Hope to see you there. Um, talk soon. Bye-bye.